Welcome to Dealer Synergy, award-winning training, consulting, and technology. Hey everybody, this is Sean V. Bradley of Dealer Synergy, and this is another video tip for the Automotive Internet Sales Newsletter. Okay, today I'm going to discuss some myths, fables, ridiculous things that you might have heard in the industry. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is that, you know, video streaming is video search engine optimization. No, it's not. Okay? People in the bleachers, no it's not. People downstairs, no it's not. No it's not, no it's not, no it's not. Let me explain to you what I'm trying to get here. There's companies out there in the industry right now in this economy that are taking advantage of ignorant uh, dealers. And I'm not saying that all dealers are ignorant, but just the fact that you might not know what the real information is. Specifically, just because you take a video and you upload it to YouTube does not mean the video is optimized. Just because you have a company that takes your inventory and uploads it to the internet does not mean it's optimized, okay? Video streaming is video streaming. It's video content, it's multimedia. It doesn't mean it's optimized. Now, what does optimization mean? Okay, that means if you take a video um, and you upload it to a video search engine such as YouTube, Google Video, AOL Video, Metacafe, Truvio, Vidler, etc. If you have a video search engine, once a video is up there, it has a couple different things that can happen to it. For example, a subject line, you could put anchor text, you could put embedded links, you could put metadata, category tags, etc. Sounds easy enough, but it's a little more complicated than that. You can't just put any content up there. First things first, let's start with the subject line. When you have a subject line, you want to have the absolute perfect subject line. So how do you do that? You just come up with something off the top of your head? No. Use software. There's analytic software that you can get. Search engine optimization companies like ours has them, or you could purchase your own. But basically what it does is identify the maximum KEI, that's Keyword Effective Index. So yes, there is software that a programmer or an SEO specialist could go on and can, t can check if the keywords that you're using in your subject line are the best keywords they're going to bring the maximum amount of, of uh, you know, returns on. So after you've done your keyword forensics or your keyword analytics and you've picked the best keywords for the subject line, that's just step one. Step two is that you're going to go to your uh, description, or AKA uh, it's known as your anchor text, and you're going to write a description of the video. Now, do you write just any random thing? Do you cut and paste? No, no, and no. What you want to do is you want to listen to the content of your video. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that whatever video footage you're shooting, you're saying, you want to be able to articulate that through text in your description standpoint. So basically you want to sprinkle the keywords from the video and from your subject line into your anchor text. Are we done yet? Not even close. You want to embed links. Now I'm looking at other Pinot you know, dealers videos and they think just because they put www.blahblahblahblah.com it's in there. It's not. If you want it to be hyperlinked you have to use the HTP colon forward slash forward slash before you put www.abcmotors.com. Let me repeat that. You cannot just put your URL into a video search engine description and it's going to form it as a hyperlink. If you want it to be hyperlink, you have to use the HTTP uh, colon forward slash forward slash and then the URL. I recommend that you could put one or two uh, embedded URLs. One might go to your main website and one might go directly to your actual inventory. Now, are we done yet? No. This is still not complete video search engine optimization. Next, what you want to be able to do is create the perfect meta tags. Well, what kind of meta tags are you going to put or keywords? Well, depending on what the video is. If you're a new Ford dealership in Memphis, Tennessee, you might want to use keywords. New Ford dealership, Memphis, Tennessee. You might want to put the name of your dealership, the phone number, the address, the zip code. You might put the different Ford models. You might even put the competitors. So if you if you have a video of a Ford F-150 in Memphis, Tennessee, you might want to put even Chevy, Chevrolet, Silverado, etc. Toyota Tacoma. You get where I'm getting at? You want to have different diversified keywords that are relevant you know that you know towards your actual video so let me recap proper subject line proper anchor text with the proper embedded links and then the proper meta tags and the proper category tags what that means by category tags is there's different categories you could put automotive or education are we done yet no just because you have one video uploaded that doesn't mean anything proper video search engine optimization is the multiplicity of videos online 
What did he just say? Rewind the YouTube. Okay, what that means is that you want to have multiple videos. How many videos? As many as possible. How many as many as possible? As many as possible. I mean, you literally need to upload a lot of video content. And here's the thing, you can't just upload the same video content to the same video search engines and expect video search engine optimization. Here's what I mean. Let's say you have a website and then you have somebody that goes in and carbon copies your website, literally exact website, and then uploads it to a search engine. Do you think the second website, the carbon copy, is gonna get the same search engine rankings? No, why not? Because you are literally plagiarizing the first website. Same thing with video. You can't just take multiple videos, cut the subject line, cut the description, Frankenstein it, and then expect to get great results. If you wanna have good video search engine optimization, you are gonna to have to have multiple videos, relevant compelling video content okay then you have to put unique subject lines unique descriptions unique anchor text unique metadata and you need to literally here's the final part um, upload to multiple video search engines you can't just upload into uh, search engines like YouTube and expect you know these amazing results there's so many different video search engines for example our company we upload to 17 different video search engines Here's an example. I want you guys, as soon as you're done watching this video, to do this for me, please. Go to Google, go to google.com, and then type in the words Toyota Camry Washington, D.C. This is really cool, okay? Toyota Camry Washington, D.C. Okay, I love that. That's how excited it get. When you go to Toyota Camry Washington, D.C., guess what happens? The first five videos are of a Honda dealership. My Honda dealer, yeah. So what happens is, again, if you type in Toyota Camry Washington, D.C., the first five out of ten listings on natural Google, this ain't fake, this isn't like, you know, a pay-per-click or anything like that. This is natural Google search engine optimization. My Honda dealership crushes the Toyota dealership. Seriously, think about this. How would you feel deep inside if you were the Toyota dealership in Washington, D.C., and you're like, I'm the Toyota dealership, let me type in Toyota Camry Washington, D.C., and all you saw was your competitor dealer, Honda all over you, not even next to you, under you, but on top of you. How would you feel? Not very good. Don't let that be you. Here is what I want you to do. I want you to engage in video search engine optimization. Not convinced yet? I'll give you one more. This is even funnier. Go to Google.com and type in Toyota Corolla Torrance. Why is it so funny? Because Toyota's headquarters, Torrance, California. The number one selling Toyota in California, a Corolla. One more time, Toyota's headquarters is in Torrance, California. The number one selling Toyota in California, a Corolla. And what do you think happens when you type in Toyota Corolla Torrance? Yep, a Honda dealership. The first three out of the top 10 listings are my Honda dealer. Scott Robinson Honda. They were just on the cover of Auto Success Magazine. We took them from literally 26, 27 units a month to 140 units on the internet. They're crushing. They're crushing the competition. How? Video search engine optimization. Not fiction, not fables, not blatant lies about video streaming. They're crushing it with video search engine optimization. Do me a favor, sell with it or sell against it. Welcome to Dealer Synergy, award-winning training, consulting, and technology.